All right, so today I'm going to talk about how to make an audiobook demo, which is a little bit different from how to make a commercial demo, which I've already made a video on. So uh, if you're wanting to know commercial demo, go watch that video instead. But this is audiobook demos for today. And um, first, we'll talk about the technicalities. And then second, we'll talk about the approach. So first, I suggest figuring out the technicalities. And I would say a good rule of thumb is for audiobooks and for your audiobook demos, whatever books you choose, record five full minutes from each book so you have that on hand. Because whenever you're shopping your demo around to different publishers and production companies, they might ask you for two minute demos, they might ask you for a full five minute demo, and then whenever you just have the demo on your website or wherever you're posting your demo, then you could just take clips from there. But I would say that it would just be a safe bet to have five minutes of each. Next, I would, I'm going to put three demos from three different genres on my demo. It's not completely done yet. I have it posted with two of the samples that I've done, but I'm gonna add another one before I really start to shop around my demo because I'm looking to get more audiobook gigs this year. Now, when choosing the passages from um, whatever books you're gonna do, I would say think about genres. You're gonna wanna have at least one nonfiction and one fiction option on your uh, on your demo and you're going to want to have those options whenever you're shopping your demos around to different uh, agencies or whoever you're shopping this around to. So I would say choose one fiction and one nonfiction. And whenever you're thinking about what books to choose, think about what you're interested in. As always, your personality is going to come through. That is what you're trying to sell, your perspective and your way of telling a story. So I would say choose books that you like and those are going to be the books that you book gigs on. So what I did was I really like Neil Gaiman. He's one of my favorite authors. So for my fiction book, I did a child's fiction book because I would love to read for those types of projects. I read the entire book. And as I was reading, I just kept in mind that I wanted to make a demo off of this. So as I was reading, I was looking for really beautifully written passages and Neil Gaiman makes it very easy because he's such uh, a fantastic writer and a lot of his passages are just very beautifully conceived. So I earmarked a couple passages as I read through and then I just finished the book and those were the passages that I returned to when I really sat down to read. And what this did was this gave me really engaging content because I found some of the most engaging content within the book or the most intriguing scenes or something that would be fun for your listener to listen to in your demo. And then that also gave me an opportunity to find passages that were about five minutes in length. So it almost seems like a short story within the audiobook that you're reading because it's, you know, like a full scene that lasted five minutes. So like I said, um, I highly suggest that you read the entire book that you're going to make the demo off of because you're going for quality here. And whenever you sit down to record, you're going to record it a few times, especially if you have characters within that book. If you're trying to show off the different characters that you can do, you're going to want those characters to be grounded and really fleshed out and show what you can do with a larger project. So... Uh, just keep those things in mind. If you want to do books that have characters in them, look for those kinds of passages, look for those kinds of books. Another book that I did was adult fiction. Again, I used Neil Gaiman because he's just such a great writer that it was easy to pick amazing scenes from him. And he writes characters very well. So for the nonfiction book, which is what I'm currently doing, I'm looking for a nonfiction option. I'm looking at uh, genres that I enjoy and I'm looking for something that's just really beautifully conceived that would be nice to listen to if someone's gonna sit down and listen to your demo. Um, other than that, I, you know, in terms of other technical stuff, don't put any music in there. Just let it be your voice, let it be engaging. Take uh, five minutes and then whenever you're shopping around, the publishers will tell you what they need. So they'll say, hey, send me two minutes of your nonfiction, two minutes of your fiction, whatever it is. And then you can always return to those five minute pieces and then cut them down as necessary. So if you have any questions, let me know. I don't really know what else to say about it. 
Probably by the time that I'm posting this, I will have finished my full demo and then I can just link it and you guys can go listen to it on the back end. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.